Well, now you cut this back a quarter of an inch. So that sets on top. Mm -hmm. Before the mill will set on top of each one of these. So you gotta cut this back a quarter. Want something to put under your knees? What, huh? You want something to put under your knees? No. That'd be too easy. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Jason's got one, but I have to go get it. I'll have it all done before I run and go get it. Brakes. <laughs> Don't need no stinking brakes. <laughs> yeah. Not on this trailer. I can't believe you got all that done already. You're moving, moving along. I'm moving along. Is it all welded or just tacked? No, it's all welded. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. That's done. I got a little black on me, but I'm just trying to get to where my leaf springs were going to sit. So I went ahead and cut my axle on too. Because they're going to go back here. I want to make sure my wheel's going to clear. You know, when you put your tire on. Oh, yeah. That way it don't hit it. Right. I don't, I don't want it too close to that. So I'm going to cut that off again and put my other one on over there. That might work. See if I got a spare tire out there I can use. Just to try it out. Yeah. I think that'll work. I'll make my brackets. And... Oh, and just weld it straight onto there? No, I'll just weld my brackets. I'm gonna put a box of an angle iron. Higher. Yeah. Yeah. Make it raise it up. using my skill saw with a metal blade. Just gotta be careful with
gotta round your edges off that's fitting down inside there. This is gonna fit down inside another one that's rounded in this C this uh, angle iron. So you gotta round these corners off. interesting I got some of my scrap iron or or my uh, angle iron it's three inches by three inches by a quarter I actually got it here in hot springs at a salvage yard uh, they had it set aside they just scrap it and but this was good enough stuff that they they kept it so that saved me a bunch of money it was only like 20, 25 cents a pound so I got 500 pounds for, I don't know, 140 or something like that, somewhere around there. So it really saved me a bunch of money. And I'm glad. This old trader is going to be really cheap. Inexpensive, I should say. I'm trying to build it so it'll hold up, so... spring brackets my hangers we'll get them done and go and get the axle put on there Got some brackets I made. It's gonna go right there on those. Then I got my other shackles that's gonna give. But I don't have no bolts, no nothing, so I've got to go buy that. Well, let's go ahead and weld that thing. That'll be good and straight now with that.
Let me double check. Make sure it's down all the way. Looks good. Alright, let's fire this up and we'll weld her together. We've well, got her welded together. Work really good. That piece of angle iron, man, it turned out nice. Straight. Now all I gotta do is get my shackle brackets in the morning. I'll run into the trailer store and, and pick them up. But boy, it's turning out good. All I have left, this thing's 20 foot long and I made it 30 and a half inches wide. And of course, this is the bottom. My mill will set on this side, on top of all of those. And then I've got three jacks on this side I'll weld to it, crank jacks to keep it level, and three down that side. So anyway, it's turned out pretty good. I'll have to get back with you tomorrow. Yeah, good morning, guys. I had to run into town and I left you yesterday and I got me a shackle kit. That's it right there. It's got the bolts. And guys, if you want to make these yourself, you can, but you got to make sure you make this one narrower. Then you got to build you some of these because this has to, this has to pivot when that spring compresses. I've seen some guys build their trailer and put two solid ones, just solid mount to this. Well, that's, your spring won't give. So that's, that's a no-no. You can do it that way, but it's gonna be like a solid axle. So you wanna make sure you do it. But I got all the hardware, lug nuts, and I bought this at a trailer place here in town for 30 bucks. You can't, you can't beat that price. You can't make them for that and get all your bolts and everything right. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld those brackets on and show you how I do it. That worked out nice buying them instead of me making them i've made them before right here but it's a job so now these go in here these have a knurled i'll show you if you ever do this these have a knurl on there so you can press them into that that lag bolt and then bolt them together that way it don't turn on you when it's springing down to going down the road. So I need to tap them in there with a hammer. I don't have my press here today. Let me go get a hammer, I'll be right back. out here not flipped over yet but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the tongue I bought the other day I told you I got a lot of this metal at the uh, scrap iron place and I saw this tongue that cut off a trailer and it's already got everything on it it's got the ball hitch already on it and everything and a nice jack, and I've already got a wheel for it. But I'm just gonna flip that dude over and lay it on top here and put me a couple more brackets in to really make that stout. Hi, Andy, you gonna help me? So that's what I plan on doing next, and then I'm gonna paint it bottom first, and then I'll flip it over and we'll paint the top. So there, there you have it. There's my helper over there. Ha, ha, ha.
Okay, well I got my tongue cut. I uh, I cut these and bent that in, kind of to streamline it a little bit. I've made all my measurements and centered it up. It's gonna work good. I like it. Uh, Perfect. Weld it right there. Point decides to move. taught me as you saw in the other video to measure twice so I'm gonna measure twice 13 and 5 eighths all right I gotta be good right there yep Just to kind of high ball. All right. The tongue is on. I'm gonna go eat a little bit and I'll get back to y'all a little bit. So guys, I'm pretty much done with the trailer. Got her painted. She looks really good, turned out good. Got my stabilizer jacks and what I did, I got these from Harbor Freight and they'll go down to like two foot, they'll hit the ground. But I'm gonna make some blocks. You might be wondering why I put the wheel on there. Well, they came with the wheel because that's all they had. They only had one that had the flat plate, but if it turns out, I'm gonna make some blocks and stick under this with a V where that wheel is set in it to stabilize it. And if that don't work, I'm gonna cut that off right there. Just put, leave that little plate on there. Put a little bit taller block. But the old trailer turned out good. I'm proud of it. You can see it right there. The wheels are on the expensive side. They're a 205 7015, and it was 120 bucks for that wheel. And before the pandemic, I bought one of those for $75. So they've gone up that much. But we're getting the woodland saw milled tomorrow, and we're gonna put that dude on there. And I'm gonna eventually build some tires. I mean, build some uh, fenders where I can take them on and off and get them out of the way. If I'm pulling it down the road, I don't want it throwing mud and water and everything else on my mill. But there you go, guys. If you got any questions on anything that I did, just shoot me a question. But uh, in the morning, I'll be back up on the cabin and me and Cinda. Appreciate you guys watching and please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like it. There it is again, guys. I got my Polaris 500 out here. Hooked it up to it. Oh, it pulls nice with it down the driveway. I can't wait to get the saw mill tomorrow. I'm pretty proud of what I did on this thing. I started on it uh, Saturday about 10 o'clock and worked till about 4 and then a little bit Sunday and then today. So it didn't take me too long to build it. Turned out good though.